For our lead issue this week, let's take a look at one of the effects of the tax reform for acceleration and inclusion or train. Months after its implementation, previously one of the biggest contributors to the government's tax collections has reported a steep decline in their sales. I'm talking about the sales of sugar-sweetened beverages. A business reporter, Andre Cole, has a story. Indeed, sales of sugar-sweetened beverages dropped in the first few months of 2018 following the implementation of the new tax reform measure called TRAIN. According to the Nielsen Retail Index, a more pronounced decline was clearly seen in Sari Sari stores, which showed an average decline of 8.7% in February this year. Last year in the same period, this drop was recorded at 4.4%. According to the study, sales of powdered juice declined 15.4% in February 2018 and 18.1% for powdered tea. Compare this to February last year when the decline was at 1.7% for powdered juice and 3.4% for powdered tea. More of the story from our business reporter. This is also true for carbonated drinks, where sales declined by 7.0% in February this year compared to 4.1% last year. Nielsen Philippines Managing Director John Patrick Kua attributed this to a typical consumer reaction of changing their consumer habits during the first wave of price increases. Some consumers may opt to go back to their old buying habits. Other consumers, though, may choose to adopt new buying patterns in the face of new price increases. Still, others may choose to lessen their frequency of their consumption because it is not easy to give up simple joys like sweetened drinks. While sales declines of sugary drinks were most evident in Sari Sari stores, decline in sales in supermarkets was not as substantial, according to Nielsen. This is because the price jumps were apparently bigger in Sari Sari stores.